What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you're having a great day. I think the Dallas Cowboys may just break the internet if they make a second move. Oh, my goodness. Um, in case you've been under a rock, the Dallas Cowboys have now signed, signed, or excuse me, traded one of their two compensatory picks, fifth rounders, for Stefan Gilmore. That's right, Stefan Gilmore. And I'm going to tell you who's happy right now. Right now, <laughs> Micah Parsons, who has been a little testy, he's been a little testy, like, you know, damn, I'm seeing all this stuff happen. He says, excuse my language, everybody, Joseph Heavily, don't get mad. Oh, fuck. At Bump uh, Gilmore 1, welcome. And literally, that just happened like, you know, 30 minutes ago, and that sucker's already got 200,000 views on it. So, definitely... Micah Parsons is happy. Okay, so this changes the complexion of everything that's going on here. And giving up a conditional pick, guys, that's chump change. We still have two fifth-round picks left to go right now, a sixth and a seventh. I'm happy that they're trading for guys that are proven. Now, some people have already commented, well, he's old. Yeah, You know what? I hate to say this, guys. Uh, with the exception of Diggs, he's the best cornerback we've had in forever he just is is he older 32 years old yes he is but this is a move that definitely helped the cowboys now now that the cowboys have finally broken their um free agent cherry let's see if they actually go out and continue this flow cowboys are all in on trying to make a juggernaut defense and actually now you start looking at what they've done with re-signing uh donovan wilson malik um Malik Hooker, as well as having J. Ron Curse. You've got a great rotation and depth at safety. You've got cornerbacks galore with Deron Bland and now uh, Stephon Gilmore and Diggs. You've got a good secondary, a really good secondary. Uh, the question will be is linebacker. Will we end up, you know, we got Devon Clark, who, you know, was a rookie last year coming back from a fused spine. Will the Cowboys re-sign Leighton Van Der Esch, or would they go through and get Bobby Wagner? I would literally just go off. I, I've been down here. I've put out so many videos today. It's not even funny how many I've had to put out. But I am happy to because it's great to actually see the Cowboys making a move. Now, we don't know if this is the big move that the Cowboys were talking about. This is only a fifth-round pick. If the Cowboys, now here would be my thing, okay? If the Cowboys are looking at this and saying Super Bowl or bust, I'm looking at Bobby Wagner because I still believe that's an upgraded linebacker for me. And I think that you can get him for a reasonable price. Now that they've already gotten $40 million from just doing uh, Michael Gallup Steele, Dak Prescott, and Zach Martin, they still have money that they can get from whatever they decide with Zeke Elliott. If they end up cutting Zeke, they're going to get $5 million there. If they end up restructuring, then it's $11 million for this year, and you still have another $5 million hit next year. If it's um, Tyron Smith and you end up kicking and restructuring his deal, you could put that off until next half of his money off until next year, um, in which case you're spreading that, that his cap number out. If they go out and decide we're going to go through and if they were to get a Bobby Wagner and if they were to sign a Hankins, then you can look at this and say, our defense is great right now. You know, we, we can always use more depth. Then as you go to the draft, if you, let's say hypothetically, let's say hypothetically, you can get, I, I, I'm, I'm almost off the Odell Beckham train. I'm almost off that. There's too much of a bidding war for him and his contract and everything else. And I still say he's coming off of a year he didn't play, off of back-to-back -back, um, ACL surgeries. I'm, I, I, I'm getting more and more with Primetime, who's been talking about, of course, bringing in um, Hopkins. Hopkins, 776 yards, receptions in nine games last year, averaged almost 80 yards a game. Um, 
he would be a great possession receiver, and you could put him in the slot. If they were to go through and use a third-round pick, if they were able to get him for a third-round pick and put him in the fold, and you still have your first and second, I'm okay with that because then your first-round pick, you look at this and say, okay, we've got some receivers because we've got to now replace Noah Brown, but we have some decent receivers, right? You've got your playmaker and – um Tony Pollard, you have your first down back in Zeke Elliott. Now I can look at it and say best player available. And you may end up looking and saying that either one of the running backs fall to you or maybe one of the tight ends. And maybe you pick up a running back at a tight end here early or maybe another offensive lineman. Uh, I'm still worried about moving Tyron Smith back to left tackle if he's going to be able to hold up or not. Um, that, that's the big question that we just don't have an answer for right now. But you have to prepare like he's not going to because recent history over the last seven years shows he's going to miss some time. But if the Cowboys can go ahead and make just two more free agent moves or a, a trade, Bobby Wagner and Hopkins, you have to look at this team and say, all of a sudden, this team is really, really good. We'll see if all this happens. I am actually feeling better as a Dallas Cowboy fan that we actually have something good to talk about. Um, right now, the, the dust is just flying around right here. I, I literally need to get myself a bottle of water and just splash my face because I, I can't believe it. I literally can't believe that the Cowboys made a move in the second day of free agent frenzy before the league year even started. This may mean... And I hope this does mean, I hope this means that the Cowboys are putting all their chips on the table and they're going all in. Please, please, let, let, let me get, be in a position like the Eagles were last year to be able to talk some smack. You know, that all of a sudden you, you look like it that you've built actually a really good team. That stuff we went through last year of, of the Dallas Cowboys literally uh, – doing nothing, having the worst offseason ever for the Dallas Cowboys. I, I don't – well, that, that's gone. It's already gone. It's already gone. Unless they were to trade, say, you know, uh, Micah Parsons for a fifth-round pick. That's about the only way that you could look and say that this offseason were um, bad. That, that's the only way you could look at that and say that this is bad. So that's where we are right now. I am happy, I am excited, and I am tired, but I am definitely full of having this joy here. Uh, we'll definitely have some breakdowns a little later. I'm going to be doing something with prime time. I'm sorry, game time uh, later on this evening. Uh, I got a meeting at 645 that I got to get ready for, and any other news that breaks, we'll be right here for it. And I'm going to have to reload my coffee and get me some soup. So that way I can keep my strength up. Mark Holmes here, and I appreciate you.